Falcons, it is Principal Neil here with your weekly announcements. Um, we are into second quarter. Congratulations on a successful completion of first quarter with interim testing last week. We are proud of all that you've accomplished and are pushing ahead to make sure that you learn as much as you possibly can learn in this school year. Um, today is a very exciting day because today is the day that lots of people are going to get pied in the face because of your generous donations to the Falcon Fund in purchasing tickets. So I look forward to seeing those of you who have participated in the gym this afternoon. Don't worry, it's going to be a phenomenal experience. Um, a shout out to our sixth graders who read with Smithfield Elementary kindergartners last week for Read for the Record. They were working to break the world record for the most number of people reading the same book on the same day. And of course, the kindergartners enjoyed their time with our Falcons. A shout out also to National Junior Honor Society. They get two shout outs. We had lots of volunteers help to be tour guides for rising um, sixth grade families are current fifth graders as they are thinking about making the transition to middle school next year. And National Junior Honor Society is also responsible for organizing the amazing pie event we are having today. So thank you so much for your leadership in our school. And a shout out to our band students, our orchestra students, and our amazing artists um, who demonstrated the great talents of our Falcons with our first open house for those fifth grade families that happened earlier this week. So thank you. I am truly proud to be a Falcon. Have a great week. I give my A for achievement to Miss George because she is awesome. She does National Junior Honor Society. She does Math Olympiad. And she's also part of the Charlotte Teacher Institute. And she's an awesome team player. You, I love you. Thank you. The roller coaster of emotions I'd say of preparing for a game so you get to the stadium you're nervous and then you start to warm up and the butterflies start to go away a little bit and then you come back to the locker room you get dressed you get ready and the butterflies come back and then you run out on the field and 80,000 people are screaming it just gives you the greatest sense of, of joy and adrenaline I mean just the, the emotion that I get from playing football it's it's pretty crazy I grew up in a coastal town in New Jersey, always loved playing sports, always stayed active, and football just, it just stuck with me. It's something that I was pretty good at from the start, and uh, I just enjoyed the competition part of it, the team aspect of it, so I knew if I wanted to be successful in the sports world, I couldn't entertain drugs. As a child growing up, I knew I wanted to play in the National Football League. I knew that was my ultimate dream and goal. Was it a long shot for me? Sure. You have to be dedicated and it's easy to say you want to do something, but that feeling of what you felt when you first said it is going to leave you at some point in time. And when that feeling leaves you, the commitment you need to have and dedication over time is what pays off. A lot of people lose the commitment and drive when they don't feel like doing anything and that's why unfortunately people just don't live up to their dreams and potential. Alan Clemens will hand it off. Oh, and up the middle, Donald Brown bashing his way to the 16 yard line. Again. There are plenty of times where things have gotten hard along my journey to where I am now, both on and off the field. There are a ton of naysayers, a lot of people didn't think I could do what I did, that didn't want to see me succeed just for the simple fact that they weren't able to achieve their goal. And then people that just flat out stopped believing in you. And there have been plenty of times that in high school, college, and pros where at one point in time I, I thought about quitting. But you have to realize what you're playing for. You know, I'm playing for my family, I'm playing for, you know, kids, I'm playing for everybody back home. What separates the good from the great is just digging down deeper, working that much harder, and really tapping into, you know, your abilities that much more. Week 17 is under center from the 12, handoff Donald Brown skips up the middle. 
there are people that are willing to help you. A lot of times you hear coaches taking players under their wing. You just have to be receptive of it and be respectful and loving to them in return. When somebody offered me drugs, I would say no. And then it got to the point where people wouldn't ask me anymore just because I, I said no so much and they knew what I stood for. The more you start to say no and the more people start to respect you, it's, it gets easier. But it's definitely not easy at first. You know, people may say things to you like, oh, you know, it's all right, you know, and everybody's doing it, things like that. But at the end of the day, when you stick to your guns and realize, you know what, this is what I believe in, I don't want to do it, then it gets easier as you go. I mean, you find other people that have the same common interests and beliefs that you have, trust me, they're out there. Just literally put your blinders on to everybody else, you know, you'll be all right. When you see friends going down the wrong path, it kills you because you saw what they were like before they were introduced to drugs or introduced to whatever it was that made them change and you knew you know the loving person that they were and then whenever they you know when that change occurred you just didn't want to be around them anymore and it's sad to see guys you know dreams slip away because of drugs to someone who has yet to discover their natural highs to keep looking we all have been given talents for me i literally had to play every sport um, some sports i stunk at and there were some that i excelled at it was tough but it happens. Uh, even if in my current state of in playing in the National Football League, there's plenty of failures that come along the way, but you learn from the failures. So it takes time and dedication to find, uh, you know, what your true purpose is. There's always something more to learn. Education is important to me because you only get better when you learn something. Right now I'm getting my master's. So at the end, when I'm all done, I'm like, man, I didn't think I could do it before, but I did it. and. You know what, that's a natural high, that's you accomplish something. So when I start to have success or start to get better, or see improvement, that makes me feel better inside, you know, and, and you feel a sense of achievement. The first time I stepped onto a football field in the National Football League, it almost brought tears to my eyes. As a child, you, you dream about these things and to see your dreams become a reality, it was pretty surreal. So when I was a kid, I always heard about if you want to study and you want to do well on a test, you record yourself going over the, your studying materials and then right before you go to sleep you hit play and the recorder plays back as you're sleeping and you're supposed to be you know, I guess taking this in through some kind of osmosis but my mindset was well if I want to do well in football I'll turn on the NFL Network when I go to sleep and I'll always be listening to the NFL Network football plays football here and football there as I'm sleeping and I always thought that would help me in my pursuit to becoming a professional athlete. At the end of the day, I was still a skinny 12-year-old kid just, you know, hoping and praying to make it to the NFL. And, you know, as long as you stay the course and stay focused, you know, anything's possible. I'm Donald Brown from Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey, and football is my natural high. What's yours?